welcome to Learn Commerce PU Online Classes. forget to like our video and subscribe our YouTube channel for all the updates. Hello my dear students, welcome back to First Commerce Accountancy Online Classes. Dear student, in the previous class we had discussed about the concept of trial balance. Uh, there we study the important concepts relates to trial balance includes meaning and methods and the objectives behind the preparation of trial balance and also we discussed about the types of classific or classification of errors and also we solved many illustrations relates to trial balance means how to prepare trial balance. See the trial balance is a basic concept because based on very important concept because based on trial balance one can prepare financial statement. We know that financial statement is very useful and it is very important to the end users because the, there are so many interested users are there they all are depend on the financial statement of an organization based on the financial statement of an organization they can take important decisions relates to the investment criteria or any other related decisions so st financial statement is a key source or the basic source to take any important decisions to the internal users as well as to the external users. So to prepare financial statement there is um, here trial balance is an important source based on trial balance accountant or the organization can prepare financial statement that includes trading and profit and loss account and balance sheet. So, uh, by, by preparing trial balance, at the time of preparing trial balance, we can, the basic purpose of preparation of trial balance is to find out some of the errors or to check the accuracy of the books of accounts that we already discussed in the previous class, correct, right? So, why, what are the main objectives of preparing trial balance? The main objective of preparing trial balance is to find out the errors and the main purpose is to check the correct arithmetical accuracy of the accounts means whether we passed all the journal entries in a proper manner or not whether we posted all the journal entries to the individual account in a proper manner or not whether we posted or whether we balance the amount in a correct route or not or to find out many mistakes or to find out overall accuracy of the accounts we need to means one need to prepare trial balance so by preparing trial balance an accountant can find find out a uh, number of errors if if any so that is about trial balance so in this class we will study the co important concept of rectification of errors see rectification of errors means what see we know that when say for example large organization usually large organizations have to pass number of journal entries in the books or they have to prepare subsidiary books in a proper manner in a day they have to record number of transactions but in one or another day some mistakes unintentionally may be done by an accountant Kelavandu mistakes galu maybe while passing the journal entry or maybe while posting journal entry to the individual accounts whatever it may be some mistakes may be done by an accountant so we need to identify that error before preparation of financial statement so that is a right it is a right time why when we preparing trial balance we can easily find out some of the errors so that is a right time when we preparing trial balance before preparing preparing or after preparing trial balance we can identify the errors and we can rectify the errors let's see what what is the exact meaning of rectification of errors 
In simple word, rectification means tappa agide adana sari madu anthaddu. Okay? So, see, rectification means finding the errors, finding the error in the whole accounting process. You know the accounting process. So, identification of transactions, communicating the accounting information, taking important decisions, find out the economic events. These are comes under accounting process. Economic events, identify the transactions, communicating and again decision making. So, all these are depend on the economic events or so the finding some of the errors if any error is done by an accountant that mistakes has to be find out before preparing trial balance or after preparing trial balance in the accounting process and what is the next step after finding out after finding the error what is the next step we need to rectify that tappanna huduki aada mele aa tappanna hege sari madodanta nodkobeku so finding the error in the whole accounting process and after that we should correct it by passing the rectified entry on the journal entry tappa agide adana hege sari madodu by passing rectified journal entry tappada mistake anna sari maadi ondu journal entry pass madodakke rectification of entries anta helteve so rectification of errors rectified journal entry so why we need to rectify uh, rectify the errors because that will help you to make the correctness in the entry which are passed wrongly yava wrong entries anna sari maadlikke these rectified entries are helpful that's why we need to identify the errors means an accountant need to identify the errors and he need to correct that error by passing rectified journal entry that is what rectification of errors so here you should know rectification of errors may be classified into two categories maybe the rectification of errors may be classified into can be classified into two categories or into two ways that is one is first one rectification of errors not affected trial balance that is also called as two sided errors another one is rectification of errors which affect the trial balance you know that trial balance after uh, means trial balance of an organization must show an equal value on debit side and uh, means debit column and credit column means a credit column and debit column of a trial balance must show the equal value then only we can judge that that organization's trial balance is showing accurate information got it so some errors may affect the trial balance or in, in another way and some errors may not affect the trial balance in the previous class i told that some errors which do not affect trial balance it means say for example compensating errors does not affect the trial balance 10000 debit column shows less uh, less a value and 10000 credit column also shows less a value but the, at that time trial balance gives total means a trial balance showing shows equal value so at that time such errors do not affect the trial balance so, so that's why some errors may affect the trial balance means uh, uh, one side shows less a value another shows greater value like that also that is also considered as error only and some transactions or some errors may not affect the trial balance so these two classifications are there so let's discuss the first one classification of errors means rectification of errors which do not affect the trial balance it's very important it's also called as two sided errors two sided errors so before uh, some of the examples for these two sided errors are these are very important see errors of complete omission complete omission omission in the sense what we never uh, we not yet recorded that transaction means in an organization accountant not consider that transaction and he not record not it record the transaction not it recorded that transaction in the books of accounts that is what 
complete omission. Bitte bitte dare. Aavon the transactions ane bitte bitte dare. January one, January two, January three, January five. Like that transactions. In that January third transaction, that is. Purchased goods from Mr. X. The transaction is not recorded in the books of original entry. That is called as error of complete omission. So, error of complete omission is not affect the trial balance. So, it is called as two-sided errors. At that time, what we can do? That entry not at passed. Just pass the end. After find out that error, what you should do? Yes, you have to pass the entry. So you have to pass the rectified entry. The, at that time, that error will be balanced. So error nil agate, nullify agate. So error of complete omission. Very simple. There, uh, at the time of recording the journal entry, that accountant not pass the entry for that transaction. What you should do? You have to pass the journal entry. That is called as a rectified entry after finding for, after find out that uh, error. So the second one is wrong recording in the books of original entry. Instead of recording the purchase trans, uh, purchase entry, you mistakenly means unintentionally that was just, just by mistake you record that transaction as uh, you recorded that transaction by considering that transaction as sales. Actually, you have to pass transaction for purchase means. Purchase account debited to cash account or furniture account debited to cash account. Instead of that, you recorded as cash to sale like that. That is what wrong recording in the books of original entry. Correct entry maada the badalu wrong entry ana pass maadi diri. First one complete aage bitto bitta diri. Next one wrong aage record maadi diri. Purchase idali sale anta record maadi diri. Receive idali pay anta record maadi diri. That is what wrong recording of original entry. And the next one is error of complete omission from posting to the accounts. See the first one is error of complete omission means you. You never ever touch the transaction. You didn't consider the transaction while recording means while passing the journal entry. That is what complete omission. This is also complete omission where from posting to the accounts means you pass the journal entry while recording the transaction means you consider the transaction while passing the journal entry but you omit it while posting to the accounts. Journal entry in the post maadwaga or subsidiary book in the post maadwaga to the individual account. You omitted that entry. That is what error of complete omission from posting to the accounts. And the next one is error of posting to the wrong account. Error of posting. You post you posted the entries to the individual account, but to the wrong account. Actually, you have to post one transaction to cash account, but mistakenly you posted that transaction to sales account or any other account. That is what error of posting to the wrong account. And one more compensating error. Compensating error, you know that where the two side means in two accounts, same mistake was uh, done. That is what's called as compensating error. Means one error can nullify another error. One do mistake, 10,000 only difference is there, 10,000 only difference is there. So both side trial balance gain effect aga dela 50,000, 50,000. So uh, trial balance tally akta hai But that is that may be by this compensating error. So you have to find out that compensating error while uh, preparing trial balance. And the next one is error of principle. Very important. What is the meaning of a very error of principle? If while say for example if an accountant violate or ignore the principles of accounting that is what generally accepted accounting principle then it is called as error of principle instead of recording the sales book instead of recording a transaction in a sales book if you record that transaction in purchase book then it is called as error of principle completely violated the principles of accounting so that is called as what error of principle so these are all the examples for this two sided errors two sided errors means a rectification of errors not affecting the trial balance. So, uh, two sided is also called as what? Errors do not affect the trial balance. So, 
rectification process in this classification see before rectification one should know that one should know the answers for some of the questions say for example the first one what has been done okay A, what has been done and what was to be done and what action should be taken to rectify that error so what action by taking with correct step we can rectify that error en agide en aagbekagide and en maadidre sari agutte tappagide okay we find out find that mistake okay but afterwards what we can take the necessary step that is what rectification process so some of the important steps we need to follow while rectifying two sided error the first step we need to pass wrong entry means actually en agide say for example purchase transaction is recorded in sales book so we need to pass the wrong entry that is what first step and afterwards we need to pass correct entry cash sales to cash sales say uh, recorded as credit sales say for example what is the correct entry here cash to sales account so what we have to how we can rectify that error so to re rectify that errors that, that is what the third step in that rectification of errors we need to pass means to to arrive at the second step or step second and to we need to cancel that entry and we need to pass the rectified journal entry that is the steps to be followed while uh, rectifying the two sided errors let's solve some illustrations relates to means relates to rectification of errors how we can pass the rectified journal entry in the concept of two sided errors see rect the question is like this rectify the following errors these are the two sided errors means these transactions affects two different accounts that's why so credit sales to mohan rupees 10000 were not recorded in sales book were not recorded in sales book see here credit sales to mohan 10000 were not recorded in sales book we have to rectify this error by passing the correct journal entry so the second transaction is credit sales to mohan rupees 10000 were recorded as 1000 10000 record maadbekiddu just 1000 age record maadidare so credit sales to mohan 10000 were recorded as 1000 in the sales book so we need to rectify this error and the next one is credit sales to mohan rupees 10000 were recorded as 12000 10000 record maadbekiddadanna jaasi aagi naave en maadide record maadideve 12000 how we can rectify this error let's see the so solution the first column the second column and the third column it's just like a journal entry so first one correct entry in the next one a wrong entry next one rectified entry or rectification entry okay so here the first one this one is not recorded in sales book so how we have to record that entry so the first one credit sales to 10 rupees 10000 what is actual what is the correct entry for this transaction how what what which entry we have to pass here see this one what, mohan's account say for example cash sales then cash account debited to sales account but here credit sale person name is mentioned so mohan's account debited mohan's account debited how much what is the amount 10000 to sales account to sales account that is also 10000 so i can correct this entry here itself you can write like this mohan's account debited 
10,000 to sales account 10,000 clear this, this is what the actual entry one accountant has to pass this entry but he not recorded in the book means 10,000 were not recorded in the book okay were not recorded and so for that we have to how we can pass the rectified entry here so, entry madlilla so just omit uh, entry omit agide so now we mark beko ah entries ana consider ah transaction ana consider mark we have to rect we have to pass the rectified entry as how how we can pass the rectified entry so in transaction agide ah transactions ana record madidre aitu mohan's account debit to sales account what is the amount 10000 only this much here there is no big confusion here because entry aage on the transactions aage, on the transaction aage there but our transaction anna omit maadi diri record a maad lila so record a maad lila tappa aage anna record maadi dala record a maadi you didn't you not consider that transaction you didn't pass the journal entry for that transaction correctly or incorrectly not pass the journal entry so nil so what is actually what is the correct entry for that transaction mohan's to sell so what is the rectified entry there is a same entry by passing that same entry correct entry you can rectify that simple that error so the second one is credit sales to mohan rupees 10000 were recorded as 1000 in the sales book what is the correct entry that here also same credit sales to mohan rupees 10000 so mohan's account debited what is the correct entry here mohan's account debited to sales account this is what the correct entry what is the amount 10000 so 10000 but have you passed how the business organization passed the entry for the, uh, this particular transaction they passed the tr journal entry like this how mohan's account Mohan's account debited to sales account, but they consider only 1000 rupees. So instead of recording 10,000, they record the transaction amount only as only 1000. So this is what wrong entry made by an accountant. Okay, so how we can rectify this error? We we, uh, now we fi find out the error how we can rectify tappa agide okay 1000 agi record agide so hege now record maadabodu illa erase maadi record maadlik agutta no you should not erase or overwrite the errors if you did like the like that then it shows that your account is your account or accounting information is not giving a true information means it uh, reduces the authenticity of the accounting information that's why you should not overwrite or erase that errors and all so for that you have to give rectify entry and how we can give rectify you debited or credited 1 1000 out of 10,000 now what is the remaining amount 10 or 9,000 so you should pass entry for remaining 9,000 as Mohan's account debited you debited only 1000 in a mohan's account correct right so remaining 9000 you have to debit again so debited to sales account to sales account here also 9000 now this error is rectified now this error is what rectified mohan's account debited to sales account 9000 9000 1000 you already recorded remaining 9000 you have to record in that book or in that uh, end means in that original book so that is what this this is a correct entry actually this entry has to be passed by an accountant but he made wrong entry he passed wrong entry as mohan's to sales 1 1000 instead of recording 10000 now this error was rectified this error is rectified by passing the correct entry so you debited 9000 remaining 9000 and remaining 9000 you credited that amount so it comes to the next one credit sales to mohan rupees 10000 were recorded as 12000 
So, 10,000 transaction actually in invest a credit maadi diri 12,000 ye. So, how you can rectify? Can you rectify that mistake like this? No. One important process you have to pass reverse entry to rectify such errors. So, over agi, over agi debit maadi diri or a credit maadi diri heli diri you have to pass reverse entry. Let us see the first uh, how what is the correct entry for this transaction same. Mohan's account debited what is the right amount 10,000 to what to sales account to sales account so 10,000 how which mistake was done by an accountant here this mistake they recorded that transaction as like this 12,000 to sales account 12,000 am i right now so how you can pass this uh, means how you can rectify this error by passing rectified entry means here you have to re pass reverse entry so here 2000 overly credited and 2000 amount is debited more than the actual correct so now you have to pass reverse entry means like this sales account debited jasi agi credit agi dana kadi me maadi alla so hege maartiri sales account jasi debit agide eshtu jasi debit agide yes 2000 you recorded more than the actual correct so jasi agi dana kadi me maadi so sales account debited now you credited more than actual now you have to debit that amount and you debited more than actual now credit the same so mohan's account mohan's account 2000 jasti agidana wapas padkolli avaga nimma error allige correct agide rectify aitu so sales account debited 2000 over age eshtu debit madidiri 2000 over age eshtu credit madidiri 2000 so sales account debited to mohan's account in this way we can find out the error and so for the easy purpose for easy understanding purpose we can rectify the errors in this way but actually we uh, have to pass the rectified entry like in the format of journal only we have to pass um, journal entry and we have to write narration also and we have to write the amount in respected debit and credit column itself this is just for understanding purpose so mohan's account this is what the first transaction this is about the second one correct entry actually you yeah, have mistake maadi diri this wrong entry and how you can rectify what which rectified entry you can pass this is about the three transaction so in the next class we will study more on this same concept thank you for watching this video don't forget to like our video and subscribe our youtube channel for all the updates